We made it to the top of Mount Muslaki in two hours. It's so crazy up here because there's no trees. It's just a rock, just a rock top. But look at all those mountains. Ah! It's really hazy because of the wildfires in Canada, I was told. It's a clear day, it's just hazy. This is what your feet look like after 19.3 miles in the white. Well, how much did you come, Raven? I summit Mount Washington today. It's the highest point on the Appalachian Trail at 6,000 some odd feet. Look at that view behind me. I did 19.3 miles yesterday in the whites to get to um, Webster Cliffs campsite last night. And now I'm going 19.3 again over Mount Washington, over the Presidentials to get to the Osgard campsite. There's options for me to tap out earlier if I want to, but this is it. Take a look at how windy it gets up here all those trees are blown down well those two are cut because of the trail but the rest of them are blown down because of the wind uh. this is how deep i just fell in to a bog can you see there we go uh right there um and i caught myself on one of the bog boards so I could have maybe gone even further so that's nice I fell on a rock ripped my nose ring out haven't really assessed all the damage I'm gonna for sure have two black eyes and we're not even to the summit yet. Okay. The White Mountains kicked my butt. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of filming, actually any at all, um, just because of how technical it was and how windy it was. I mean, when we woke up yesterday, it was windy and like 50 degrees and when we were going up the mountains and stuff getting closer to um mount washington every single um every single ounce of my body was telling me to turn around i mean it was windy and rainy and oh it was awful um but then it cleared up and that was a good thing. Um, and Mount Washington was awesome. It was clear at the top. I mean, everything was cool, except for the fact that I got like punched in the face by mother nature. And I only have like a few little spots of black coming in. But otherwise I think I'm relatively unscathed. My nose is pretty swollen. Um, but today I'm gonna go, we made it, we were gonna do a work first day at the Madison Hut, but there was no more room for a work first day. So we continued on to a stealth site below tray line and I'm gonna do the six miles into Pinkham Notch Visitor Center and take a shuttle to the Rattle River Hostel. Um, I need to go into town to get new shoes. The same thing is happening again where both sides are like blown out and uh, I didn't know that Ultra had a 500 mile guarantee so I'm gonna contact them. I mean, obviously I can't wait around for them to ship me new shoes, but they can maybe ship me new shoes to like somewhere in Maine. So um, that is our plan. Also, look at all the slugs on my tent. Do you see them all? See those little lines? Those are slugs. I have to pick all of them off before I put my tent away. Oh, got some Pop-Tart on my mouth. Nice. 
Mm. Mount Washington, besides having a footpath to the top, also has a road. So people can pay, I believe it's $29 for the driver and the vehicle, and then like $9 per person after that. And then they put the road right crossing the AT, as if to add insult to injury. Here it is, and all the way to the top. I am walking over here. I'm just leaving Gorham, New Hampshire for the last time. I've been here for like three days. Well, I, not three days. I've just been going back and forth. I got picked up at Pinkham Notch, um, and I, I don't know if I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Nobody fret. I found my way. Anyway, um, but I originally got picked up by um, Rattle River Lodge and Hostel about three days ago at Pinkham Notch and then I narrowed into the hostel and I took a zero day with my friends and that was so nice and I ate all the food and just we played all the games and it was just such a fun like I don't know maybe a realignment um, because the whites was a hard section it was I mean, like I fell on my face, I went in my tent and I cried, and like, whatever. So it was just, it was cool to be around a lot of other people who had just completed it. Um, and you're just, there's something about being with a group of people who have collectively, yet individually, gone through this like super hard experience. Um, anyway, and then yesterday I got dropped off, <laughs> I got dropped back off at Pinkham Notch. And I did the Wildcats, which is the last section of the White Mountains. It's after the Presidential Range. And it's sometimes forgotten about. And people forget how difficult it is. So it was nice to be um, able to come back at, to the Red River Hostel. And they keep your food. And you take the food that you only need for about two days. Um, and then you roll back into the hostel and you get your food back. Um, so that was a nice, that was a nice touch. But now, I am sadly leaving Gorham for the last time. Um, I'm gonna go up to this pond tonight. We'll see, it's already four o'clock. I mean, such a late start. I mean, I've already done seven miles. And I will be honest, it was hot. It's gonna be 101 degrees tomorrow. It was hot today. And uh, so I took my time and I'll be able to get like eight more miles out before sunset. Um, I'm also, as you can see, packing out a sandwich and chips that do not fit in my pack, but they're on top of my pack. I've got a heavy pack today. Um, I was way hungrier than I thought I was going to be. Anyway, so um, our next stop is Andover, Maine. And I will be staying at the Human Nature Hostel. So it'll be really fun. I'm kind of lopsided with my sandwich. Ooh, I might need to do a little rearranging. Anyway, so, so yeah, we're feeling good. Feeling really good. You know, when I was sitting in Walmart, it was very imperative that I get this sandwich and these chips. To the top of this mountain. But now, considering it's 5 p.m., I'm dripping sweat. It doesn't really seem eh, that necessary. So it's Saturday. And it's going to get to 100 
and two degrees today. Um, I'm at 870 miles and I'm feeling just like super worn out. Um, I have days where I feel like super strong and then I have days like this where I feel like regardless of the heat, I feel just burnt. And for the last couple of days, I've been waking up with like really swollen like glands and my own dangly thing in my throat is like really swollen. And there's little white spots on like, not the back of my throat, but like the back of my mouth. Um, and I know everyone's like, oh my gosh, little white spots, you must have strep. Well, I don't have my tonsils or whatever else is back there. So I I haven't gotten strep throat since I was in like kindergarten. Anyway, <sighs> um, the bugs here. Ugh. I'm just having like one of those days where I'm just every second I go like two feet and I just sweat. I just, I'm just drenched. My shorts are soaked. My sports bra is soaked. My shirt is soaked. And then like my hands get like, like I am so sweaty for so long that you know, like when you get in the bathtub or like the pool and you're there for too long and your hands get like, um, wrinkly. Like, my hands get wrinkly, like, over an hour. Anyway, and my bag is not too heavy, but it just feels heavy, and I don't know, I'm drinking, like, when I was in Gorham, oh, we had such a great time in Gorham, like, that we celebrated a birthday. Do you? Yay! Wish, 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 wish. You have to make a wish. Wish. Okay. Um, and Odie from the Hiker Yearbook was there, and um, that was really fun. I came out of the woods, and they were, he drives this, like, mini school bus that used to be a church school bus, and now he just drives hikers around. He just kind of follows the bubble from Georgia to Maine, and just picks up hikers off the street and just brings them wherever they need to go. It's really cool. It's, it's got a lot of trolley stuff. Uh, purple people. So I was coming out of the woods and there was a bunch of people going to Walmart. So I mean, I've been, the last three days where I've kind of been in and out of Gorham, um, I've been drinking lots of vitamin C, lots of, you know, healthy foods, but I don't know. I just feel very like, like I don't feel like, well, I do feel sick, but it's not like a cold or a flu I don't know how to explain it. Like maybe I'm just like snoring really loud at night or something and that's just why my throat hurts. But I don't know, I feel very weak. Um, and it might just be the heat. But, um, yeah, New Hampshire, very end of New Hampshire and Southern Maine are very remote. Um, I saw a person today, but that's because it's Saturday, but I didn't see anybody yesterday, and yeah, it's a lot of alone time, and I know that it's going to get better because Maine is only like 200 and some miles. It's hard when it's hot. <laughs> There's also crows here that crow or make sound, caw, and it sounds like a person screaming. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna be summiting Mount Success today, which is funny because 
I'm going to feel so successful. But there's also a, a plane site crash or plane crash site from 1950. That's only like 0 0.2 off of the AT. I don't know. Ever since I saw Lost when I was little, plane crashes give me the heebie-jeebies. So I don't know if I'm going to be brave enough to go see it. I'm sure there's photos on the internet and I can just look it up there. But also the bugs here are awful. It's like you're sweaty and there's no trail maintenance. Ugh. So it's like you're sweaty, you don't feel good, and you're just getting like just whapped by pine trees and bit by deer flies. Ugh. I need to find some people. <laughs> I need to find some people. Um, I need to find some people. People, main state line. There she is. There it is.